Hey, how's it going? Checking in for today. Progress that has been made in my endeavors to become more established uh, as a professional motivational well-being speaker. And I say more established with a, a smirk on my face because I've done a couple of posts and videos recently about how I do actually feel like that's what I do now. And uh, that, that's the kind of the, the main focus and has been now for enough time for me to feel like, yeah, okay, uh, I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a, I am a professional speaker. Um, but uh, there's still more to be done. So that's where the, the more and the smirk comes in. But today what happened was I had a mentoring session with somebody, a very experienced uh, ex-Toastmaster. He's not actually in Toastmaster anymore, but I, I spoke a while ago about wanting to really um, take the international speech contest with, with Toastmasters uh, seriously. I've never really properly gone in for it. I've you know chucked the speech in here and there and um, I, I think I might have won the club level once, uh, but I've never really progressed in it and I've never, as I said, never really taken it seriously. But I decided that I wanted to do that this time. So I had this meeting uh, today with, with this uh, mentor. I actually lives just around the corner from me, um, Angus, and uh, it was just the most valuable hour um, that uh, I could have spent on that subject. Just some real insights, some really useful, a really useful opportunity to bounce some ideas around to get his feedback and his thoughts on the essential ingredients uh, as to what I would need to do in order to, to get a speech that could potentially progress all of the way. And uh, what was interesting with all of this was that uh, as a part of this process, he'd said to me last week, to, to, recommended I go and watch some of the uh, the finalists from previous Toastmasters International Speech Contest, uh, the winners from previous years. And I've done that. And um, again, I talked about how there are, there are several ingredients that are always the same. They always have humor. They're always self-deprecating. There's always lots of stories. There's always a very clear message. It's always repeated. It always loops back at the end to the beginning. Um, uh, then there's always a lot of drama, a lot of theater and acting in it as well. And um, as, as I was watching those speeches, those talks, I was thinking to myself, and I, 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 I think I might even have mentioned it. Uh, I can't remember if I did a session, um, one of these videos where I talked about authenticity. Um, but I uh, think to myself, geez, you know, that, that's, not how, that's not how I roll. That's not how I am. And I know I'm never going to be. It's not that I could never do it. I just never want to be that polished. Um, and uh, so that was the thought I was having. And then I was, read, I was watching uh, a, a chap I've subscribed to on YouTube recently. Uh, where I get his emails uh, from, it's called the Speaker Lab uh, Grant. Uh, from the Speaker Lab, um, and he was doing this sort of breakdown of uh, last year's Toastmasters International Speech Contest talk, and he picked up on exactly the same thing, and I found that fascinating. Literally just started thinking about authenticity and not being too polished and how it just isn't me. That's actually the subject of the talk that I want to give in the uh, in the speech contest at club level anyway. And uh, and then when I was speaking to Angus earlier on, he brought up the same thing about how many of them, there's very formulaic and um, uh, and you know, if you don't tick all those boxes, then you're probably not gonna you're not gonna win. Um, and uh, so yeah, it was just kind of fascinating listening to all of that. And now I'm not necessarily doing this with my my ambition being to win the the finals of the World Speaking Championships. I want to get to the the final of the district, which means winning area, winning. Sorry, winning club, winning area, and winning division. So three contests that I would need to win with increasing number of people taking part in each of them. Um, and I, you know, I reckon I've got the chops for it. I reckon um, that I could come up with something and I could structure a speech that would potentially win it, but probably not something because of everything I just explained there about authenticity and having to stretch myself too far outside of what, not my comfort zone, but you know what what I believe in um, and and who I want to be as a speaker. Uh, that that it, you know it, it probably wouldn't stand a chance to go all the way to the top, <clears throat> but that whole kind of realization has been really interesting to me. That actually Toastmasters and even the competition and and me wanting to go for it is because that's going to help me. It's going to support me and my other goals of of becoming the best speaker that I can be. So if I have to flex myself too much because I then you know I want to win the the, the competition outright, then it's no longer serving the bigger purpose. And and therefore I'm 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 spending time and effort and energy, and emotion putting myself into that uh, position, and uh, not really getting the core benefit from it anymore. I guess it's an example of when um, the the measurement stick becomes the goal, and I don't want that to happen. I want to use these this contest as a way to keep driving me forward. It's like these videos, these videos have never been. I've never decided right. I'm doing these daily videos. I'm going to now become. Uh, you know, I'm just going to focus everything on building a YouTube channel. 
that's not what these videos are about. And that's not for me what this international speech contest is about. That is about improving my um my 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 technical ability and my kind of contest chops if you will as a as a speaker um it, it isn't about flexing so far away from my natural style um that i i, I that i'm never going to use that in a real life situation i'm never going to use that style in in a keynote or in a workshop or a presentation um because it just isn't me so yeah some interesting observations there but all centered around mentors um, and how over the last literally three or four days, all this has come in together. Um, geez, you never stop, never stop learning. Um, I just feel, you know, so excited about the whole thing around uh, public speaking and presenting um, and and just all the, the stuff that goes in behind it, all the, the technical stuff. All It's not just about standing up on a stage and um, blah, 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 giving it all out there. You've got to have that structure and you can do it and then you can do it better. And I'm all about finding ways to do it better. Have more impact. That's what I want to be doing. Anyway, there's my check-in for the day. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow as always. So make sure you give it a good old YouTube, YouTube thumbs up. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you have anything to share. And make sure you check back again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.